In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we are going to explore the basic loft feature in 3D modeling. First of all, before we get started, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, share this video if you find it helpful. Also, I'm going to include in the description a link to get your free SOLIDWORKS basics guide. So make sure to look out for that. It's a free guide. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter. And if you're not already a Patreon member, if you'd like to see the full exclusive videos on SOLIDWORKS, go ahead and become a Patreon member. I'll include that in the description as well. So with that said, let's get started. First, I'm going to go over to front plane. New sketch here. gonna actually start by doing the center rectangle so that we'll draw from the center. So we're gonna start drawing our center rectangle out from the origin and click OK. We can make it any dimensions we want do four inches and 10 inches. Like so, fully defined. We go ahead and exit our sketch. So we've got this on the front plane. Now we're gonna go to reference geometry to create a new plane from that front plane. So we're going to reference front plane and <laughs> it already is predicting we're going to do all set distance, which is great. We're going to do, let's say 16 inches up to a preview, flip it around and click OK. Now that we have the second plane called plane four, you can see in our design tree, we're going to go ahead and start a new sketch normal to that plane. You can see our previous sketch on the front plane below it. All right, so you can see our two sketches now. Bigger rectangle, center rectangle, smaller one on the front plane. We are now going to exit the sketch and go to lofted base to begin the loft. We're going to click the two profiles but this is also important. Make sure that your ver vertices are lined up so that the guide is straight. So for example, we're going to start with our smaller rectangle. This corner here we will select as a profile. You can see sketch one shows up now. And then this corner here that lines up. And you'll see a nice preview of your loft. So you're going, you're using two separate planes, two profiles, Sketch two looks good. We'll select OK. So we've got a nice trash can looking part now, which is what we were going for using the loft feature. That's going to do it in this video, guys, for using SolidWorks loft basics. More examples to come. If you haven't already, subscribe to my Patreon. I'll put the link below. And don't forget to get your free SOLIDWORKS basics checklist. I'll put the link in the description to that. Subscribe as always. Take care.